EA Sports. It's in the game. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Tennessee Titans. Steven Goskowski now has this one teed up, and we are underway from Gillette Stadium. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. 
Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Derrick Henry. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. James White, 43 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Second down, here's Henry. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. To throw is Tannehill. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kyle Van Noy coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. This will be taken at the 10. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. And some room to run now. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big-time run there by Sony Michelle, 59 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, 31 yards. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. 
This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Let's go! The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. On second down, it's Henry. And the big boys up front, they're gonna stop him right at the line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. This is Henry. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 10th carry now for Derrick Henry. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Dante Hightower on the stop. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. This one caught by Davis. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Corey Davis, 35 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, <laughs> when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, Michelle. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before we get there. But nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on four. Bravo. They do go for it. It's Brady. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And all the way down to the 29. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Hey, 
Throwing is Brady on third down. And he'll get that to Michelle, complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Throwing now is Brady. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Now that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. There's nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So after the sack here, second and 14. Now Tannehill. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And this is secured by the Patriots. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now this throw caught left side. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 33 yards that time. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That's one they certainly wish they had back. A loss of eight. Throwing on second and long. Brady to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. It was a safety Kevin Byard that time who was able to knock it away. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? From the gun, it's Brady. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. It was a safety Kevin Byard that time who was able to knock it away. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Alpha. They'll go for it. It's Brady. And that is going to be incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Henry. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. 
And some space. Derrick Henry all alone. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, 60 yards. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Fielded about a yard deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. We'll see what the decision is here. If they, and now a fumble. Brady loses the football. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Hey, exit. On third and long, it's Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kamale Correa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again? Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Here we go on fourth down now with Brady. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. A first down carry for Henry. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Three quarters in the books. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll run it again with Henry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. The Titans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Now it's Tannehill. Free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Devin McCourty picks it off. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. 
Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And when do they start thinking about burning these times? There he goes, right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the first turnover on defense leads to six points. Goskowski with the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Oh, this is a touch cruel here. They've got the big lead. Now they're going for the jugular with the onside kick. And the Titans are going to recover the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Here's Tannehill. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is.